I believe I've been using them for probably seven years now. So the band's been together for 10. First couple of years were just running, bouncing between stock pickups and stock guitars. And then once I started to actually nail down what I was after, it was bare knuckle the whole way. And that's been, yeah, about seven or eight years now. Our guitarist, Ryan, he was all behind bare knuckle. He, he championed so many different sets and different types to me, which like each one was just, it, it gave so much dimension and difference, which I just hadn't found in pickups before. Basically, the, the first day I heard a bare knuckle like under my hand actually playing it, it was an aftermath. And it was just something about like the, the definition as well as clarity, as well as aggression, which I just had not found in another pickup. I had some, I can't even remember the brand now. I haven't played anything else in so long, but within the range, there's so much that I feel like I can go in so many different directions while staying under the umbrella. And it's just, yeah, satisfied everything that I'm looking for in guitar from record to live, really. So I started off with the Aftermaths. From there, I went on to the Juggernauts. From there, I moved to the Ragnaroks, but I still use the Juggernaut a fair bit in the neck pickup, actually. Um, Ragnaroks for the bridge, and then recently I've actually tried the Polymats, and they have buoyed me away, so I'm getting a few of those sets in uh, upcoming guitars, and currently they're loaded into my six string, which is serving me very well. Okay, the main pickup I use is definitely the Ragnarok. Uh, that's in the bridge of, well, it was in the bridge of all my guitars. As I said, the um, six string currently has a, a polymath match set, but in my seven string Devel and my seven string Regius, they both have uh, the Ragnarok in the bridge. And um, it is just, it's kind of like stuck with it uh, since the death of me recording sessions. Like for so long, I was all about the, after, uh, not the aftermath, the um, Juggernaut, but, um, yeah, I guess it's just the tone that I have now, the way that I play, it's kind of like almost slightly tweaked around the uh, the Ragnarok. Like I, I feel like I used to almost have an easier time, like just kind of you touch the string and the, the Juggernaut just like rips, but the Ragnarok kind of encourages me to dig in a little bit more, but then also back off when necessary. And I feel like it kind of gives that uh, response that sat, like rewards that kind of playing, which I've enjoyed. It all comes from like a time and a place. like. The aftermath was so gnarly and sick at the time. And then once I got to the Juggernaut, I was like, okay, the, like, some things are smoothed out and this is more appealing. And then after playing on that for three or four years, going to the Ragnarok like, really gave me just like a different feeling of playing, which it's, it's, it's something weird because you don't really, a lot of people don't put much chalk into pickups. They're like, oh, you know, thrash whatever you got and it'll work. But once you do feel that difference and actually hear the difference from one to the other, when we're doing A-B tests for the death of me, we're like, okay, like, what do we like? What do we feel? And the Juggernaut had that kind of familiar nostalgia, like comfort, but the Ragnarok was something where I was like, okay, like this is actually giving us something fresh and it was so refreshing in that way. And the same thing happened again on this record with the Polymaths, like um, our sound engineer, Lance, still harkens back to the uh, part in With Regards because he's like, those palm mutes, those chugs are so sick and that is the Polymaths. And I don't think there's anything that quite matches it on the record, but. It's like, was that down to how I played? Was that down to the pickup? Was that down to the tone? It's like, it's a combination of all three, but the polymaths are rad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, you want to promote the tour? It's like, yeah, this will go up just after the tour's done. <laughs> yeah. Nah, it should be sweet. Thank you guys.